Hey, this is Frank, and I'm here at the Saltwater's Edge today to talk a little bit about what's in my plug bag for the summer. Start off with uh, more stuff I use closer to my hands as uh, as I work down the end. Stuff I use a little less. My first tube here, uh, no surprise, darters. Uh, I generally fish a two ounce darter almost exclusively. In the summer, I might go down to an ounce and a half, ounce and three quarters. Of, there's less bunker and there starts to become slimmer baits around our fish. The water temperature goes up and fish start to become a little more selective as these are all pretty much the same body. Uh, they work great and I have a ton of confidence in them. Like most, like most surf casters, I'll always have super strikes. Great for distance, cover, and water. Uh, as most of you know, ne nearly impossible not to have. My second two, uh, metal lips. Probably my favorite plug to catch fish on, especially big fish. Uh, like these, as we transition in the summer, I'll go down to slimmer slimmer and smaller size. Instead of using an uh, eight inch, in the, like, like I would use in the spring when there's a lot of bunker around, I'll go down to a six or a slimmer. Or if there seem fish seem to be really selective, I'll slim it way down. Uh, I'll even go to minnow plugs. But uh, for the most part, I'll always carry about two to three to four metal lips. Uh, sometimes, almost my whole bag will be filled with metal lips if. Uh, I'm doing well on them. Working down the line, hardly go out without a bottle. I'll carry a Super Striker, this, this Goo Goo Man plug. Uh, again, great when there's crosswind, um, great when I need to get d dig deep or hold, or uh, I'll use this in various conditions. It's just a big fish plug. Um, regardless of season, even in the summer, again, I might slim down in size to a, you know, an ounce and a half one, but generally I don't leave home without some sort of bottle plug or two or three in my bag. Um, my second most fish plug, uh, needlefish. So I'll always have different variations. Again, this depends where I'm fishing or what I'm doing or how I'm doing on what, but uh, I'll always have uh, some needlefish. It's Atlantic Plug Co. that I got, in, and uh, it's been a great plug for me. Just like the darters, I'll go with the biggest hooks I can uh, use without getting hung up on something. Um, I'll carry various sink rates and don't fish floating much, but uh, I'll always... Uh, have a slow sink and a fast sink, just depending where I am, what the cross sweep is, what the wind's doing, etc. And that same tube, I'll again another super strike, but I'll always bring out like a jumbo dart. If, uh, even with those, since these are larger, even if it's summer, they seem to be on bunker or the fish are extremely active and they're hitting larger plugs. I'll try to pull out something even larger to just see if I can weed out a larger fish of the bunch. And uh, my last tube here is kind of the, this tube gets changed out the most throughout the night, uh, sorry, throughout each outing. A red fin, again, never really leave home without it, great distance, distance cover and plug, fish almost always like them or hit them, so great fish finder plug, I'll almost always have that. Um, also in the miscellaneous tube, uh, again, same thing with metal lips, I'll carry something big in case I'm getting Side, the fish seem to be absolutely crushing regular metal lips. I'll pull out something huge. This is, uh, we call it Bob, but I believe it's a reproduction of a, a three ounce pinch knee. But uh, bone and color, uh, favorite color. So I'll always, uh, if I can, I'll always tuck this in my bag. And that same tube, this is a reproduction of a Jack Crutch banana. Super fun plug to fish. I'll fish this even if they don't want it, just because I personally have a lot of fun fishing. It's a, just kind of a stick shad type bait uh, definitely as you can tell it looks much like a bunker and uh, if I can get them going on this uh, I can usually usually will fish it if I can I'll also take it out when uh, getting soft hits as they seem to charge at it a little bit more uh, just because it's so large so I'll pull this out fairly often or if I'm bored and I want to fish something a little bit different this is definitely the ticket um, Aside from that, I just carry, I'll carry various soft plastics, uh, just uh, gravity eels. I'll do, I'll do them on jig heads if it's deeper. I'll do them on uh, swim hooks if it's a little more shallow. And I'll carry various uh, sizes of bucktails just for that spot. But uh, sometimes I pull them out, sometimes I don't. I do like fishing a bucktail and soft plastics. Uh, so I'll just change those out. Cons you know, based off the depth of the water I'm fishing, or if there's wind, I'll go with a heavier one, or if it's uh, bright out, I'll change the color of the soft plastics you know, or the bucktails I'm using. While we're at it, I'll cover uh, my belt setup, or my bags, and my belt, and what I have on it. Um, I don't change this all season, pretty much stays the same. If I'm fishing uh, eels, I might ditch a bag, and I'll have a jug. Um, 
So these bags are uh, uh, basically a point surf casting cat bags built by my friend Miguel. Uh, they're excellent. I'll carry a combination. I prefer this over shoulder bags. I'll carry two twos so they can wrap around my waist on like a three where it would bend. Or I'll go two and then one. Or I'll just go two if I'm fishing eels and have an eel jug or what have you. Uh, it's old uh, Mac surf casting belt that I love. I uh, kept pliers, I'm left-handed, so everything's basically set up on my left-hand side. Um, my first two primary plugs, kind of stuff that I fish secondary. Most places I fish, it's hard to get back, or I'm not on shore, so I don't bring a water. And if I want to keep moving, I don't want to keep going back to get the water. So I'll just do a water bottle holder. Uh, from there, I'll always have a skin pouch that I generally keeps soft plastics in, a camera that never leaves. Um, and then I'll have a carabiner clip here, and uh, I'll generally it won't carry a boat grip if I'm trying to stay mobile. I do fish grips in case it's a small fish is pinned across the face. But for the most part, I'll try to lip them, and uh, I'll vet, I don't change out much on here. I again, like I said, I might ditch a, a bag or two or add a single tube. And if I'm at a spot where I can have my water, you know, I'll add more plugs, or if I feel like I'm not. You know, I don't have a good understanding of what the fish want. I try to bring more plugs and uh, less stuff on here. But uh, that's generally my belt for the whole season, not just the summer. But this is generally what I have, and I'll just siphon through. I'll change this out just per spot, but this is generally the bulk of it. The shape won't change much, just the plug size, depending on uh, what the fish are eating, like bait-wise, and if they seem to be aggressive or finicky. But that's the majority of uh, my bag for the season.